On Sunday, Trump lawyer Christina Bob appeared on Newsmax for some reason to talk about Maine Secretary of State Sheena Bellows kicking Donald Trump off the Maine ballot, even though she has actually not really kicked Trump off the ballot. That does not go into effect unless, of course, the Supreme Court says it can. So she's just opened the door for it. She didn't actually officially really do it yet. So that's an important caveat that people need to remember. And you would think Christina Bob being a lawyer, albeit apparently not a very good one, that she would understand that that caveat exists in Maine, but she wants to pretend like this is the final decision and there's nothing can be done about it because on Newsmax, she had this to say, she was asked if something, you know, if, if they should have some kind of discipline for Sheena Bellows for doing her job. And Bob said, I think an impeachment's a good start. However, I would encourage the attorney general or the district attorneys in Maine to take a closer look at this and possibly investigate her for abuse of authority, abuse of power and election interference, because this is no doubtedly is election interference. By putting out all of this propaganda, this narrative that Trump isn't going to be eligible. I mean, trying to instill fear in the voters that, oh, maybe I shouldn't vote for him. Maybe because maybe he won't, you know, maybe I shouldn't follow him because he won't be on the ballot. They're trying to discourage people from supporting Donald Trump, thinking he's got all these legal problems. <laughs> that is election interference and, and she needs to be held accountable for it. You know, speaking of accountability, remember when you signed that document that other Trump lawyer, Evan Corcoran drafted that said that all of the classified documents had been returned to Mar-a-Lago. You signed it as Trump's lawyer, submitted it to the federal government. And it was a lie. Remember that? Remember how you have not been held accountable for that yet? Yeah. I just wanted to bring that up again, just in case you forgot Christina, cause you know, you're talking about accountability for people allegedly doing something wrong. And you know, I mean, lying to the FBI, <laughs> that kind of seems like a big one, right? Also, I got to read this part again. They're trying to discourage people from supporting Donald Trump, thinking he's got all these legal problems. Thinking he's got all these legal problems. Are you trying to say that voters say, Hey, hey, pfft. Guys, forget about the legal problems, right? I mean, this is no big deal. It's just 91 felony counts against him. He's got that E. Jean Carroll defamation lawsuit coming up in just two weeks now. An appellate court last week said that he is going to face the lawsuits from the injured police officers from the Capitol riot. So he's got a lot of legal problems. That's not propaganda, as you say. You go, it's propaganda. It's not propaganda if it's real. You're his lawyer. You know, he's got legal problems. And by the way, even if, and this is a big, if he's innocent, he still technically has legal problems because he has a lot of trials he's got to face. And let's not forget too. We still don't have the conclusion of the New York fraud trial that won't uh, conclude. Uh, closing arguments are January 11th. I think it is. So we'll have closing arguments and then we'll have the judge make his determination. Then we'll have the final ruling. So it, it's not, um, that anybody is spreading propaganda that Trump is facing legal problems. It's that we can clearly see that Donald Trump has a lot of legal problems. I mean, he's, he's burdened through his save America political action committee cash to pay for his legal fees and his lawyers. This is not propaganda. This is reality. We'd love it if you'd come visit us here every now and then, instead of living in your little Trump fantasy world. But in reality, Trump is facing problems. Trump is facing lawsuits. Trump is facing more ballot challenges in other States. One just popped up in Louisiana a couple days ago. That's not election interference. That is literally using the constitution of the United States to say that this guy shouldn't be on this ballot because this document says this thing. So yeah, you can try your best to convince voters that, oh, Trump's legal problems. Don't worry about those. But 2024 is the year of accountability for Donald Trump. And no matter how much you spin it, that dude is in more legal trouble than probably anybody in this country right now. And those trials are probably going to be starting pretty dang soon.